Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and explore ion content right here, right? So always, you can always find any of the attributes associated with them uh, by hitting control and space down here. So you can see with ion header, I have all these uh, properties available with me, right? For example, this class name could be a property. Um, you know, the rest of this is basically the JSX stuff from the HTML. Uh, let's see where it's getting this from. So ion header, you can see has, okay, I guess we lost it. Ion header has the definition right here, which says uh, it has all the HTML attributes with HTML ion header elements and all these attributes right here, right? So all these attributes are for ion header. So anyway, what we really want to do most of the times is just keep it the same. But for ion content, for example, we are going with our class name of ion padding. And what this does is that it just provides this a little bit of padding to the content, which you can see right here. So if I remove this right here, you're going to see that it just sticks to the header very top. And we can just keep it right here. And most of your content, most of your what uh, your app should look like would go inside um, this particular thing, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for, uh, I guess I will just keep it to spaces only so that we have more stuff, more space for the code. So yeah, anyway, that's all for this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.